Ah, uh, yes, uh, Super Mario 64 Tass just has a ridiculous amount of text. Yeah. If you really want me to, I can turn the quality up to full instead of like a uh, uh, full budget of 255 instead of one of uh, 160. The 160 just means it can catch up more easily. Um, this one, the guy came up with, a uh, guy had a very odd, uh, very odd way of ranking the, uh, task time, and task videos accepted it only for the specific run. And so the idea was, um, it's basically level time. So the actual score countdown um, is not counted in the time, and that's mostly so that you could. That's mostly so you have to worry about. Um, you have to concern yourself with the uh, lag frames. Yeah, but also if you just go for in game, or, or if you go for in game time, you can just abuse lag frames. If you go for um, if you go for real time though then you're usually tweaking to get a nice and low score. Yeah. Uh, it's actually it's kind of silly because your your gains actually work against you in terms of time because the shorter your time the bigger your score. Yeah. So it's it's always a hard fought win against the the score counter. Yeah, and speaking of the score counter, a uh, good thing about not having sound is you don't have to listen to it, and you especially oh don't have goodness. to listen to the codec glitch. Was it? I said, oh my goodness, I, I do remember having to listen to that. <laughs> Inglorious stereo. I'm so f well, it's all in mono. I'm sure this system is, but the Genesis kind of hammered the stereo in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, and that was all. It had to be hard panned. Um, I think the uh, chip that they used for the Master System, uh, they didn't add stereo to that, but they just had stereo stereo on the uh, FM chip. Huh. How did someone manage to leave the game three times? Um, the same way I joined the game three times. Oh. I just checked the TPS. It says 17, and now. Oh. Uh. Actually, if we, keep, like, if we keep playing videos, then that might make um some it might make some people lag uh, lag out, and then yes, um then the TPS should pick up, and then we can watch it uh, all properly now. But we're on <laughs> 17, I think, is the is the uh, record at the moment. <laughs> Although we got 18.9 at some point, uh, but that was prior to the actual convention starting. I do really like it, like off hours BTM because it's nice and fast. BTM after dark. Yeah. Oh, and here's an uh, auto scroller. So have you got if you've got any to if you got any donations to invent, feel free. I have never seen Sonic Auto Scroll. I'm unfamiliar with this. This is the only. I think this is the only time Sonic ever auto scrolls. Wait, I, uh, wait, oh. no. Um, the the Sky Zone on Tails is a uh, plane. There's an auto scroll. Oh, that's. There. I mean, then the the test for that. It's like do 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 do. What? So yeah, a lot listening. of this is just a uh, lag avoidance. Somebody just started yeah. making weird noises. Uh, have you have you seen the Sonic Two uh, Mega Drive test or Air Glass one? No. Okay. Yeah, the, that one you basically got. You kind of got to do it with sound. Though. Oh yeah, fun thing about doing the uh, Master System tasks is on here, the motion compensation uh, works a lot better with that, just because you don't have like a parallax plane. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm of the view the master system was better than the NES, uh, at least from a hardware perspective. It was just a lot. It's just a lot cleaner to work with, and also uh, yeah. the graphics are more capable. Having seen the kind of the hardware architecture of their successors, um, I can see how that could be. I think that the the SNES and the uh, Genesis were actually pretty evenly matched. Yeah, I, I think the SNES may have actually been better. Possibly. I mean, it. Uh, some of the. Um, the Super Nintendo had a lot better. Uh, it was a lot more easily expandable. So, for uh, instance, the Super FX chip found its way into everything. Well, yeah, because, uh, yeah, because the CPU was a little bit slow in comparison. Mm hmm. But um, its GPU could handle, you know, alpha blending, and yeah, um, yeah. it had uh, it went with samples. I really love the Genesis's uh, Yamaha chip. Uh, yeah, I think it's um, one of the. I think it's one of the best uh, sound chips that's ever gone into a, a game system. But at the same time, it limited the system in terms of how it sounded. Yeah. And also, um, people, there are people like, oh, I can't hit to EFM, let's just add more, like, wow sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yep, tra uh, track with uh, pretty much any FM um, chip is, uh, sets the attack to as quick as possible, uh, set the uh, carrier modulator attack to as quick as possible and tweak the uh, modulator volume. That's probably the first step of anything, really. Uh, and also uh, mess with the feedback. Mm -hmm. I could, um, yeah, I've actually mm -hmm. uh, written a, a bunch of subtractive and uh, FM uh, software synths, so... Nice. Quite familiar with all of that. <laughs> Should there be something that's fun? So the only... You know how I learnt a bit about uh, how to do reverb? Yeah. PlayStation uh, 1 uh, 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 sound chip. Emulated, of course, emulated. but that, still. That would do it. But yeah, it is a really clunky thing to use, though. Just because it's like, where do I put the pointers for everything? I uh, uh, I did I just, I think in this game uh, I found a glitch once in an emulator and I forget how I did it. But uh, if you jump really high in Green Hill Zone X two, you can actually jump over a um. Oh, you can jump so far that you end up somewhere that you're not supposed that technically shouldn't exist as part of the level, but for some reason does. And I have no idea why that even happened. Hello. I'm trying to think, what were some techniques that people uh, used in speedruns that were used to be considered TAS only? I mean, there's one in Quake 2, but... Yeah. Was... But that one was uh, resolved by putting on power armor. There were a lot. I mean, pretty much all of the live tech... Uh, especially for the older games. Um, Gotta love the pause buffering. Uh, another thing that would have been considered TAS only, um, uh, code execution. 
So yeah, I, think... I haven't. I haven't seen too much of that um, live, but. That definitely comes out of the text. Castlevania PS1 is usually the classic example. Oh, that's right. Falcon talked about Ori and the Blind Forest and Axiom. Might I explain what those are, Falcon? I probably just came in in the middle of a conversation. I didn't realize. I don't know. Sorry if uh, I did. Uh, we're basically talking about uh, stuff that was. Uh, uh, I'd ask, we're talking uh, about uh, sorry, it's a thing. We're talking about tech that used to be TAS only, and now uh, we've seen in live. I don't know. Like I, I was like doing something while all the game was launching, so I wasn't really listening, and all I right. just know I'm listening. Um, yeah. If conversation is still a thing, you should. Do that, but uh, so there, Labyrinth Zone One. Um, this is just the this one's fairly. Oh yeah, this is basic. This used to be the only non-zip. Uh, I discovered one in uh, Green Hill Two by accident uh, at an emulator, and it's it. And it's definitely not TAS only, but um, yeah. Just a blue block. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, you only get so many rectangles per frame, and they're, the screen yeah. is not yeah. erased between frames. So um, when things are moving around, you get uh, some really chaotic, boxy stuff that can. It can call. Uh, that okay, can resolve over time. This uses a, um, a very much TAS only as frame perfects technique, and then yeah, whoa, that's a classic zip. Is that um? Gee. Yeah, this the thing is though, this game doesn't use uh, that many zips. Though so I think those are the only two zips that are actually yeah, used. Actually. Yeah, uh, but Sonic underflows really, really easily. Not so easily on the Master System versions, because the, um... the uh... right later later Sonics underflow really easily. So a no, lot the of, Mega Drive uh... ones do. Okay. The um in the and I know all... this engine. Not this all zips are in... underflows either. So yeah, in this engine you've got the um, what's it? I I, th I think in uh, the Master System Sonics, the zips. I think the only way you can really zip is up. Or in this particular game, there's a uh, basically two engines on the Master System. This is the ancient one because it's developed by Ancient. The other one's the Aspect one, which is developed by Aspect. Well, and I prefer the Ancient one uh, personally. But and um, so in this engine, uh, your border, you oh, you're you're actually confined to a border. And yeah, with this border, um, hmm. uh, well, I, I think the border numbers might be set a little bit too low for a uh, labyrinth act two. So it will eventually your your number will wrap around and then it will clamp it to the right hand side border. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this engine's actually pretty good. You can you can um. Fun thing is that if you get a box and you oh if you get like a TV box um, you can and it drops on a and you can knock the underneath it and it lands on a hill. It'll start sliding. This is not part of the uh, base engine, from my understanding. For extra fun, though, what else? Start another thing that starts sliding is the uh, end of level signpost. If you drop it onto a slope, we um, yeah, I think there's basically one more skip here, and then. There's the sort of not actually a real boss boss. And then there's um 
Skybase Act 1 is just... They do something really cool in this test. And there's a, there's a speed up in here that no one seems to... No, no one seems to have used, which is uh, they injure themselves on a flame so that they only have to hurt, hurt themselves once. Hello. Fun fact, some of these came from uh, Wing Fortress and Scrap Rain. Wait, for what, sorry? Some of these uh, blocks that I placed over here. Ah. Uh, so yeah, this death. Uh, it's a deliberate scap. Basically means you don't have to go around the long way anymore. Wait, how many people are on the server right now? One, two, three. Just one column. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I'd say the uh, textures are generated, but... All the textures are generated at runtime, so no texture files. I wonder if they if they will ever find a skip for that. There's a similar thing where the, where you jump into a teleporter um, before Robotnik can, but other than that, um, uh, for some reason, uh, all right. So this this um, levels. There's a really nice um, jump with a platform somewhere. Oh yeah, this is the level where you have all the lightning and shit. I'm trying to think what this is. Just get ridiculous amount I... of speed and then jump on a platform. Yeah. I don't think we had this on any of the uh, later versions. No, this is um, this is Skybase. This is a uh, Sonic one and Master oh, System. Okay, yep. Fun thing, uh, I, I think it was like maybe last year or the year before. Someone had, a I think it was last year. Someone had actually found a version of the Marvel Zone theme music in the Master System Sonic one. It was completely unused, and no one had noticed this. I think this level there's a lot of uh, yeah, lag that. avoidance. That's um, that skip is um, quite well known, I think. And now for the final boss fight, and yes, you can actually get stuck in the glass. Uh, I don't recall how you're supposed to do it. Well, I don't, don't recall what the conditions are for actually pulling it off. Ah, yes, that, so that skip can be done really yeah. well.
Yeah, uh, Sonic Master System performs decently. Um, actually, Sonic Spinball, uh, which is Mega Drive Master System, Sonic Spinball, we don't talk about because <laughs> it's kind of shit. Um, let's see if I can get to work. Oh yeah. I think the reason Spinball kind of suffered was because I was actually live streaming it from my main screen. Let's uh, switch it over to... I'll bump up the quality to 240. Yeah, let me, let's see what the TPS is now. 15.4. Probably still don't want to shove audio on. Now we had someone uh, connect and disconnect. Um, that affects the TPS a lot more than ah. the video. Uh, does anyone want to do an archipelago of the music that happens here? Oh, actually, I've got a bass because, uh, but I kind of suck at that. I also kind of hated this game, like, playing it when it was out. Hey, yeah, fun thing, the music doesn't play this part. Let's try this, um, wait. <laughs> ah, no, I'm doing terribly. Well, the level's over anyway, so. Yeah, so the next level is probably the most boring level of the run because it doesn't have an interesting skip and it's very symmetrical. Uh, we're on 15.6. And yeah, the bonus levels, yeah, they have to skip them because this is any percent and skipping them is faster than doing them. I really hope I'm not setting the server on fire. No, I don't think you are. I think it's fine. Emerald Power! I'm surprised you can surprised. only just, just play that sometimes. Why are they uh, bothering with collecting the uh, emeralds, or is it a, one of the conditions for the win? You have to, uh, it's um, a requirement to get to the boss of a uh, level to finish the level. Oh, okay. Except, of course, for the first one, in which case there's a skip. But without that skip, yes, you would have to collect all three emeralds for that level. Uh, the level after this does have quite a uh, it does have some pretty nice routing. 
And then the last boss, um, on the first uh, dome hit, uh, the input stops. And that I think that technically marks the end of the timing. So, ba basically, um, yeah. That's one interesting way to shave off uh, time or something like that. Is this the part where we send our condolences to China for basically making it impossible to connect? It's actually quite the opposite. Um, connecting should be fine, and that should um, cause a, a lot of problems with playing the video. Ah. Because what it happens is it, it instantly goes into, like, a, a disk weight. All right. Yeah, the 100% task of this uh, always picks the same, um, the same bonus level. So that's the first emerald. Well, you've got to get five in this one. Number two. And yeah, regular, um, the, me the regular Mega Drive Sonics tend to suffer. So, oh, three. But here they don't use Parallax, so um, the motion mo comp works quite nicely. I think that's all the emeralds. Yeah, I missed the fourth. I missed the fourth one. <laughs> and unfortunately, uh, Tony Hawk does not look good in this. And the portal one task is actually kind of boring because it's all about completely and utterly skipping every single puzzle you can. Do you know what's fun to watch? The Talos Principle speedruns? They're amusingly all parkour, but it's actually really impressive. Uh, what, are, what runs are we watching? No, I was just saying what's fun to watch is Talos Principle runs. Talos... Oh, Talos Principle. Yeah. Which is an absolutely excellent game. And the cool thing is the runs... Yeah, it like... is. You know what would be appropriate... Um, I'm probably not going to be able to, to stick around for another task, but what would be appropriate is Notch's uh, unassisted tower climb. Did he run Talisman? Or, or... He did the tower climb without waiting for the second play, the computer. Uh, I actually haven't done the tower yet because I'm a lazy person and haven't. <laughs> but I do know what? it because my roommate did it. You know, Brett? I don't know if I told you, but he I convinced him to get it, and yeah. You should do it. I'm planning on it. It's just I keep forgetting and doing other things like BTM. I'm sure he'll convince me to do it one way or another if I do or not, because he really liked it. Yeah, it, it kind of wrapped everything up for me. It was a good experience. It's an excellent game. Welcome back. Seth playing here. <laughs> he was unmuted just to sigh at my joke.
So something on Reddit scared me today. Good. The current top post is a guy who jumped from 25,000 feet without a parachute. That's what I'm watching it right now. Did what? It's scary today. Did I'm watching it right now too. What happened? <laughs> uh, he he survived. He landed in a net. Well, I mean, otherwise it wouldn't. Like he like... had three other he had he had three other people going with him just in case someone else went wrong. And if they it, all if, three had um, parachutes. If he didn't if he survive, young, then it wouldn't have been on Reddit. If he was young and he didn't no, survive, it would have survived. Be on it would have, if he would have survived, it just would have been on a different subreddit. That's, That's true. true. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but um, like, was he perfectly fine? I'm guessing. Oh yeah, he's can imagine he, he planned I'm it out. I'm not done with the video yet. I'm like two thirds done. He hasn't landed yet. I, I assume he's he fine, it. considering that it says successfully ended in the title. Yeah, I know, but he might have, like, injured himself slightly. I'm sure he got some bruises. <laughs> oh, the oh. net was really yeah. tall. How tall is really tall? It looked like it was at least 40 or 50 feet off the ground. Well, I mean, I'd expect it. The velocity is a lot. If it stopped very quickly, then he would die either way. Oh, it looks like he passed out. Oh. Uh. <laughs> That's when I think that the guys would, like, grab him and be like, oh, crap. I'll pierce that in the mumble. Oh, no, he's fine. Yeah, there's the video. Thanks, Kenny. Jeez, I want to see this nice. crap now. Um, wait, stream of... Can I rip that from, um... Yeah, there are so many things in my head telling me that I should never <laughs> fucking do this. Like, what goes through your mind when you're like, yeah, I should jump out of a plane for 25,000 <laughs> feet and not have a parachute? Oh, hey, uh, YouTube, uh... He had that people with parachutes going. with him, so whatever. This is gonna take a while he's, to download. He's probably thinking, man, this is gonna be Reddit gold. <laughs> <laughs> he also probably made a shit ton of money. His suit was covered in advertisements. <laughs> yeah. And his cousins or something is the ones that were done with him. makes people crazy. But the thing is, it worked. Yeah. And okay. to quote the top comment, what would motivate an audience to attend something with such potential to horribly <laughs> fail and end in death? The fact and that it could potentially is, fail in death. You just answered your own question. <laughs> people love death. I like how they've got, like, things on their shoes that are smoking. Or whatever to the Redditor who asked earlier today, what would you not do for a billion dollars? This. I would not do this for a billion dollars. <laughs>